So we've been talking about prayer and what happens when we pray. And I'd like to talk about prayer that helps you to escape temptation. Jesus says, pray lest you fall into temptation. That's in Luke chapter 22, verse 40. I've been thinking about what happens in prayer. Why is it so important? And why does Jesus say that if you pray that you will not fall into temptation? Surely there's an exchange. There's something that is happening in prayer that enables you to walk a life that is strengthened through a relationship, that you'll be so strengthened in your inner man that temptation will not have a hold on you. Sometimes when we think about prayer, we think about it as hard work. We think of it as an effort. But really, it is an exchange of God's life into our spirit and God's strength into our spirit. And we see this when Jesus was praying in the garden of Gennesaret before, in the Mount of Olives, before he was crucified. And it says here that in verse 39, coming out, he went to the Mount of Olives as he was accustomed and his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw. And he knelt down and he prayed saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. So Jesus was in this place of prayer. And we see in the Gospels that Jesus often withdrew and was strengthened through prayer. And so here again, he goes and he withdraws and he starts interceding. And before he prayed, he said to his disciples that we pray so that we will not fall into temptation. And so as he prays, an angel comes and strengthens him. And I believe that this strengthening, this part of prayer, when we pray, angels come and strengthen us. This angel came to strengthen him because he knew the cost of the price that he had to pay on the cross. He knew the sin that he was going to take on him was so evil that in his human strength, he could not carry the load that he had to bear on our behalf. And the Bible says that in, so intense was the pressure that he understood that he was going to take on, that he sweated blood. But he was able to endure the task that was coming because he had been in prayer. He had prepared himself. There was an exchange that was happening. And, and we've been talking about this in prayer, that in prayer an exchange happens. And I believe that there wasn't temptation for, for Jesus to not go through with carrying the cross. But he prays this prayer and he says, Lord, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Have you ever been given an assignment and you think about so many reasons why you should not be doing the assignment that God has given you? That it might just be the wrong time that you'd rather delay it until everything is certain. But Jesus didn't take the way out of escape. He said, Lord, your will be done. Even if this is going to be hard, I want to do your will. And I believe that if we are in prayer and if we are praying, God, your will be done, your kingdom come, there are many assignments that we would not delay but that we would step into by faith, even though we don't know the outcome, even though we know that it's going to cost us something. We wouldn't take the temptation to take the way out of our assignment. And so here we see with Jesus that the angel came to strengthen him. And there's something about prayer that strengthens us. Many times when temptation comes, we know what the right thing is to do, but we don't have the strength in us to escape the temptation. And I believe that there's some strength that comes 
purely through relationship in prayer, intimacy in prayer, where there's that great exchange, that great strengthening from angelic hosts that come and strengthen us, from that glory that we experience in the throne room that can only be given in prayer. I want to encourage you to go into prayer and to be strengthened by God's angels, to be strengthened by your relationship with God so that you will not fall into temptation. This year, God told me to have a women's conference and it's COVID. So I booked the venue before COVID. And then when COVID hit, I was like, well, Lord, do you still want me to have the conference in person? And I really believed God wanted me to have the conference, but it was a huge step of faith. And many people said, well, why don't you wait until after COVID? But I believe God saying to me, listen, the, the, the women need to be ministered to. The women need connection. And so I stepped out in faith and I said to my girls, I believe we're going to do this. I believe God's going to provide a venue. And so we went ahead. And as we went through with this, I was like a little bit afraid because I was like, Lord, what if the, the venue cancels? And what if we don't get another venue? And but we we went on and we we, we went on with the plans. And so on number 99, the venue cancels on us. But I just believed, I was like, Lord, I believe that you told me to do this. And some doubt came in and, and, and these words were like, maybe you're arrogant. Maybe you, you planned this on your own accord. But God was saying to me, I'm with you. And so we were looking for venues and this one specific venue said that they could host us. And I want to testify to you today that we are having the women's conference and we have a venue. And though I was tempted many times by voices of doubt to cancel, I trusted God and I believed God. And I believe that God was strengthening me to have this conference. So I want to encourage you today, what are you facing? What are you tempted to step away from? What are you tempted to step into that is not God's will for you. Go and pray and ask God to strengthen you not to fall into temptation today. Prayer is an exchange. He gives you his strength. He gets angels to minister to you. Your relationship with him is strengthened in prayer when it's the prayer of faith, when it's a prayer of relationship. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the prayer of faith. I thank you for the prayer that strengthens us not to fall into temptation. I thank you, Father God, that in prayer there is an exchange. I weakness for your strength, our doubt for your faith, our unbelief for your hope and your faith. And I thank you, Father God, that those listening to, to this message today will be strengthened and that they will be encouraged to pray so that they will not fall into temptation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.